It's me, Dot. Here's a little known fact about the hub. It is always freezing in here and I can't figure out why. All the other rooms at HQ are just fine. There must be a draft around here. But where? That draft can't hide from me forever. I'll find it one of these days. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. That's better. Now, let's take a look at our newest postcard. <laughs> Dear Connect HQ, I know it's important to have faith in Jesus, but how can I make my faith stronger? Do I need to lift weights or something like that? Signed, Mina. Mina, that is a great question. Faith means trusting in God, even when you can't see Him. And making your faith stronger means trusting in Him even more. No weights required. I just wish I could think of a story that would show you how faith can grow. But right now, I'm drawing a blank. Hey, Dot. Oh, sorry. Are you recording? Yeah, but I'm having a little trouble answering this question. Ooh, what is that? Did I get real mail? <laughs> yeah, you got real mail. This is so exciting. I never get real mail. I see why you're having trouble with this question. It's a tough one. I know. If you have any stories that would help, please let me know. I've got nothing. Hey, this is from my Uncle Joe. He's my favorite. Don't you say that about all your uncles? Yeah, but I mean it about Uncle Joe. He actually used to work here. At Connect HQ? When? No, before it was Connect HQ. He was a custodian back when this place was a cell phone company. I had no idea. What does the letter say? Let's see. Dear Dot, I was cleaning out my attic yesterday when I remembered a conversation I overheard during my time at Connect Mobile. I had just stepped into the observatory when I heard the Connect Mobile CEO say, what do you mean there's a treasure hidden in the old part of this building? I don't care if the treasure is lost. Find it, we'll be rich. Treasure, Harper, real treasure. <laughs> what did your uncle say next? In the years that followed, I spent all of my free time trying to find the old Connect building, but I never could. It was too well hidden. But then yesterday, I found the enclosed blueprints up in my attic. I'd completely forgotten about them. They're the original plants for the building. If anything could lead you to the old part of Connect, and the lost treasure, they could. Dot, will you search for the treasure? Will you finish the quest I never could? Nothing would make me happier. Signed, your Uncle Joe. Harper, this is perfect. We can look for links for Mina while looking for hidden treasure. So you really think there's treasure at HQ? Of course I do. I think this is God giving me a chance to help my uncle and show Mina what it looks like to put faith into action. I just have to follow God's lead. Yeah, but just because your uncle overheard someone talk about treasure years ago, doesn't mean it's here now. He could have misunderstood a CEO, One, two, or... Three, four, five, six, seven. Dot, what did you just do? So that's where the draft's been coming from all this time. Harper, come on, a secret door just opened. Is this an old hub? <coughs> See, what did I tell you? God is leading us on an adventure. My uncle was right about there being an old part of Connect and he's right about the treasure too. I mean, it is pretty cool that this place has been here this whole time and we knew nothing about it, but that doesn't mean the treasure's real. 
What are you doing now? See the button panel? And see the doodle of a sheep and a music note next to it? Yes. I think if I use these buttons to play Mary Had a Little Lamb, a new doorway will appear. I really don't think... Ow! What happened? When I played the wrong button, it shocked me. Okay, Dot. I know you have faith God is leading you on this treasure hunt, but this is too much. No! I can show my faith to grow my faith. Ooh, that's good. I need to remember to share that point with Mina. I can show my faith to grow my faith? What does that even mean? When our faith feels weak or tired, doing good can make our faith stronger. God has taught me that again and again. If I'm brave and I try again, my faith will grow. Ha ha! Come on, let's go. No way, I'm out of here. Harper, it's fake. Are you sure? Positive. See, made in the USA. What made you get a little closer? Was that more of your faith growing bravery? You've got it. And acting brave isn't the only way we can grow our faith. Now that I think about it, do you remember the skit vision video Luke helped make a few years ago? The one with the skeleton? You might need to jog my memory. I don't think he'll mind if we use his tablet. There we go. Doctors, this man needs medical attention. Good thing you brought him in just in time. We'll take it from here. What's his problem? Came in complaining of a sore throat. When was this? 53 years ago. Doctor, I'm not finding a throat. Great news, the sore throat is gone. Strange, doctor, I'm not finding a pulse either. Great news, the sore pulse is gone too. Good work, doctors. Doctor, what does it mean if he's not breathing? Well, we'll have to run some tests, but if a person isn't breathing, they could be very weak or dead. Doctor, what does it mean if a, it's just bones? If a person is just bones, they could be very weak or a skeleton. Oh, that's just as I suspected. Just like in the book of James, chapter 2, verse 26. Oh, you think this is the best time for a verse? Sure. This guy's not going anywhere. Say it with us. James 2, 26. James 2, 26. Just as the body is dead without breath, just as the body is dead without breath. So also faith is dead without good works. So also faith is dead without good works. You see, if we don't do good works in Jesus' name, our faith could end up weak and dead, just like this. Now, if we stop breathing, we can get pretty weak or die. Wow, how did you do that? Did you go to medical school too? No, I just picked it up somewhere. Impressive. No bones about it! <laughs> <laughs> when a person isn't breathing, they may be weak or dead. A little like this guy over here. And our faith is the same way. If we're not doing good things for Jesus, our faith is weak. But doing good things isn't about making God love us more. We do things like praying, reading our Bible, and trusting Him because we're so thankful for everything He's already done for us. And that grows our faith. Yes, that's a great point. That's why I was so quick to go on this treasure hunt. God has been so kind to me in the past. Why wouldn't I take him up on the chance to find answers for Mina and help my uncle? That makes sense. And that verse from the book of James could really help Mina too. You're right. It's perfect. I can't wait to share it with her. So what do you think we need to do next? Hmm. I think we need to open the right combination of cubbies. Let's see if this works. I don't think you did it right. Oh, I 
think I was looking at the blueprints upside down. What happened? Where am I? What? You're in an old part of Connect HQ. What? You must have fell from the ceilings upstairs. I have so many questions. We'll fill you in here in a second, but for now, just uh, watch your head. Mike, follow us. Okay. The treasure's in here somewhere. I just know it! Finding it might not be easy. There's so much stuff in here. Look, guys, searching for treasure is really cool and all, but I don't know how I feel about actual traps. I mean, first of all, who puts actual traps anywhere? Secondly, why would anyone hide treasure at Connect? That just doesn't make sense to me. Faith doesn't always make sense, Mike. Oh. Have you two ever heard of the Faith Hall of Fame in the Bible? No, but it sounds awesome. Uh, the book of Hebrews, right? That's right, and it's full of people who believed in Jesus, even when it didn't make sense. Here, watch. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. See the wonderful stories inside. Every day I'm searching, read through history and poetry. How much Jesus loves me. God's great story lives. There's no other book like this. This book is alive. The Bible is full of stories of people who showed their faith in God by believing Him and trusting Him enough to act. If you want to read some of these stories for yourself, one of the best places to start is the Faith Hall of Fame in the book of Hebrews. This is a list of the most faith-filled people in the Bible, like Noah, by faith, he built an ark and saved his family and two of every animal from a giant flood. Abraham is on the list too. He followed God to a land he'd never seen, trusting that this place would become a home for him and his children and grandchildren. Abraham's wife, Sarah, was able to have a son, even though she was very old. Moses did all kinds of faith-filled things. He chose to be mistreated with his people he left the comforts of Egypt and led others to celebrate God's goodness every year. Rahab saved her life by welcoming God's people instead of seeing them as enemies. These are just a few of the people in the Hall of Fame. All of them were people who trusted God and showed courage even when it was difficult. Sometimes life is hard. We mess up, sin, and struggle to follow Jesus. The people in the Faith Hall of Fame know what that feels like. They all messed up or faced hard times too, but they still chose faith and we can choose it too. How can we do that? We lay down the heavy things we're carrying, like sin or worries. Give all of that to Jesus and look to Him. He's the best example of a faith-filled life we can find. He died for our sins and rose from the grave. And when we remember what He went through, we find the courage we need to keep going. Lots of people in the Bible show their faith in God by believing in Him and trusting in Him enough to do good, even when it doesn't make sense. It's so awesome how many chances God gives us to do good and grow. We just have to be looking for those opportunities. You're right. I need to remember to share this Bible link with Mina. So what do the blueprints say to do next? It looks like we're supposed to find an in star. Maybe there's one hidden inside the room. Let's start looking. Uh, okay, well, everyone just watch your step. Maybe it's under here. Whoa! Whoa. Is everybody all right? Yeah. That was so scary. It shook the whole room. Okay. Be careful, everybody, because anything could be a trap. Maybe the start isn't in this room. Maybe the N stands for North, like the North Star. 
I don't believe it. It's really here. <sighs> Guys, we found real treasure. I am not kidding. Look, look at this. And we also found this. Who knows how long the sandwich has been up there? Captain Alyssa says we have to take all this stuff to a museum because it's hundreds of years old or whatever. You know, except for the sandwich. But until the museum people get here, I'm not taking this stuff off. My uncle is going to be so excited. And Mina, while we were searching for the treasure, I actually found an answer for your question. But first, let's say a verse together. It goes like this. James 2.26, just as the body is dead without breath, so also faith is dead without good works. A healthy, strong faith does good. And not to make God love us more, He's always gonna love us the most. It's because good works show God and other people that we're thankful for everything He has done for us. The Bible is full of people who showed how much they trusted God by doing good. Even when obeying God didn't make sense in the moment, they made the choice to trust Him anyway. God gives all of His people chances to trust Him by doing good things. Like today, when He led me to go on an amazing treasure hunt so I could help my uncle and find answers for you. So anytime you're feeling like your faith is weak, look for chances to follow God and do good. You can do things like serving others, reading your Bible, and praying. Don't forget, I can show my faith to grow my faith. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. I think this is the closest we'll ever be to being actual royalty. I think you're right. I dub thee, Lady Dot. Why, yes, I will be taking my carriage to the ball tonight. A strong, healthy faith starts small, and then it grows and grows and grows. If you've never made the choice to put your faith in Jesus and make Him your leader and your number one friend, you can do that today. All you have to remember are the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice? If so, be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust. Thanks for watching! Be sure to subscribe for more videos from the Connect Crew.